Hello, and this is Country Sports TV, and we've got David Kenyon with us. Now, David Kenyon has just been elected chairman of the Rural Crime Forum for Avon and Somerset Police. David, what's the forum for? Well, the forum has been established by Avon and Somerset Police fairly recently in order to act as a, a communications vehicle conduit between the rural community and the Avon and Somerset Police. And this is really because they've uh, decided to focus on rural crime. Uh, it's an area which they haven't specifically focused on necessarily before to the same extent. Um, and so they want to provide information to people in the community, but also for, to receive feedback from people in the community back in so that they can actually focus their attention correctly. And it's going to work something like the Neighbourhood Watch scheme? Well, there are various uh, schemes within the overall project, such as Farm Watch and Horse Watch. Uh, but the key from the perspective of the forum is to firstly monitor the, the operations uh, and the, the effort the police are putting in, uh, and then to feed back in case they're not allocating the resources in the same area, in the right area. Uh, so the various organisations, such as the National Gamekeepers Organisation, Federation of Small Businesses, Business South West, the Country Landowners Association and many more which are all part of the forum are there to provide positive and sometimes negative feedback to the police so they can react accordingly. So if we've got rural crime in our area with the farmers that I go shooting with or places where I go fishing, how do we contact your organisation? Okay, well you don't contact us, we're there not as a, an operational element, but to comment on the police operations and focus. So you contact the police in the, in the normal manner, not using 999, but using their alternative 101 numbers. in Haven, either, Somerset. Yeah, either 101 or the, the directly to the stations, or a police officer, if you know your PCSO or your local Bobby, contact them directly. What's really important is they build up an intelligence picture. So they've changed their computer system. It now is a set of tags, uh, which things are tagged as rural crime. And so it allows them to build up, say, hotspots in a particular area and then tying that in with other intelligence on criminal activity can perhaps give them the evidence they need to make a raid on a home or a search or a stop and search of a vehicle at night. Now, one of the big things in our area um, is something that really isn't detectable. And it's only people like me that are on the ground shooting and working with the farmers that see it. And that's poaching deer at night, they lamp the deer, yeah. which is totally illegal. Of course. Um, but the deer aren't technically owned by anybody, but they're the landowners if he wants to shoot them, but some of them are only small farms and they don't shoot them anyway. Yeah. But um, how do we focus on that? Well, the poaching is, is one of the areas specifically where we're trying to look at, and so uh, trading standards are involved, because of course what happens when the deer carcass is, is sold, it's got to either go through an abattoir or it's got to go through uh, to a shop or a pub or a restaurant um, and so trading standards themselves are actually involved as part of the forum so that element is there but even something as minor as poaching, I say minor as poaching, it can have devastating effects, people shooting at night not knowing what the backdrops are but something like poaching uh, is a, a rural crime indicator so the person who's poaching, leaving gates open, driving through and so on could be coming back subsequently a week later and steal the quad. So every single thing needs to be put forward to the police so they can build up that intelligence picture. Yeah, we've had um, the deer stalkers on one farm uh, keeps having his high seats stolen. Well, well, there's a typical yeah. example. But not, not deer specifically, but livestock. Uh, at the moment there are an awful lot of livestock thefts in the Avon in the, uh, Even and Somerset area and the police are trying hard to stop uh, hauliers and hauliers are actually being uh, had a very positive thing about being stopped and they've been asked for the paperwork and I was recently on a training day um, where Avon and Somerset coordinated with Devon and Cornwall and they had a training day covering all sorts of rural crime issues but specifically for example one of them was making sure the officers were aware of what paperwork is required when people are hauling livestock about tags in ears and so on. So if you, you stop a lorry full of sheep and there are no tags in their ears then that's an indication that there's something wrong. Also the time of day that those, the stock is being moved, where is it moving to, to farms and so on, or to, to markets. Um, and so it's arming the police, giving them the information so that they can actually be proactive when it comes to addressing rustling as it is in this case. One of the problems we've got in 
Haven and Somerset now is the financial cuts. We've got local police stations closing down. How is this going to affect their ability to fight rural crime? Well, the police have focused on this now, and it's a, it's a national effort. Um, the national crime, uh, rural crime, uh, has become very important across the country as it's been recognised as an area where the police actually perhaps have neglected things in the past or certainly not put sufficient resources. And so Evan and Somerset, amongst other forces, are actually taking this issue much more seriously. Of course, when it comes to cuts, you know, every part of policing is going to be under review, but certainly this is an area where they feel they can make gains and we're hoping that the resources will still be allocated um, post any cuts. And it's certainly something which the forum will focus on, trying to ensure that you know, the sufficient weight is given to rural crime. David Kenyon, I hope that your new forum does very well. Uh, I welcome it, and I think it's a step in the right direction. Thank you.